contributors to the cause. One thing I gotta tell you when you folks look at this photo of Sybil Ludington is she's riding around with a stick in her left hand in this stamp, in this issue. And I need to tell you all that that stick was not for hitting her horse. Sybil loved her horse. Her horse was named Star. She used that stick to bang on the doors of all of the residents to call them to arms. have here a copper penny in my collection it's flattened out and in my collection I have these fine pewter metals that were struck many many years ago you'll take a look at that nice I gotta say that years later somebody wrote a poem by a guy named Paul Revere hey Paul Revere didn't hardly write at all Paul Revere got caught. Paul Revere was a failure. But somebody wrote a poem about him, so everybody remembers that idiot. But nobody remembers the woman, the girl, the female that really did it. These are first day covers. They're stamps and postcards or envelopes with the stamp on Civil Ludington and they were mailed or sent through the post office on the very first day that the stamp was available. This here is the finest piece of my collection. It's a limited edition proof, sterling silver issue medal of Sybil Ludington. It was issued back in 1975, and like I said, it is sterling silver that's um, 0 0.900 silver and it is included with the first day of issue stamps. This collection would not be complete without the book. Everybody that's interested in civil should get a hold of one of these books and give it a read. It doesn't take you long, it's a short story and it is very historic. I must add that this stamp that was in, printed is the first stamp that ever had wording on the back of the stamp. This has glue on it, yet you, you could lick it and stick it on your envelope like in the old days, but there was also lettering, and this is the first stamp ever that had anything written on the back of it. I also have here a first day of issue cover. It explains the date of the stamp and everything else about the stamp. It was issued on March 25th, 1975. First day of issue, Carmel, New York. Sybil Lovington, daughter of Colonel Henry Lovington, lived in Patterson, New York, a few miles from Danbury, Connecticut. On the night of April 26, 1777, she rode muddy and rain-soaked through the Connecticut and New York countryside, rallying her father's militia regiment with a call. The British are burning Danbury, muster at Ludington's. The militia responded. 400 strong and moved at daybreak. Although Danbury was looted and burned, British General Tyson lost a tenth of his forces in the ensuing battle and was forced into a disastrous retreat to the safety of the ships of Fairfield. The route of Sybil's ride is indicated by three New York State roadside markers from Carnival to Stormville.